here in the booming metropolis of Vermilion, South Dakota. A rematch, two teams that squared off just 70 days ago, the three seed Coyotes against the Bison from North Dakota State. As we welcome you to the quarterfinals, Coyotes showing pressure on third and long. Time for Miller. Heaves one deep and has a man. Caught! Henderson. And a first big play for the Bison all the way down in USD territory. Second and 12. Time for Miller. On the move. Pass is caught. Eli Green and a first down. Now they motion another receiver over. Nelson in the slot. Cam Miller time now races for the goal line. Did he get there? He did. Touchdown, Bison. They're going to look to see if that left elbow goes down before he gets in the end zone. Tice the running back. Time for Bauman. Surveys and heaves. Has a man. Caught in stride. Javion Phelps. Rajon Nelson joins him in the backfield. Matt Ed said he's a freak. Roddy Jones thinks he could be a tight end in the next level. Here come the Jets. Payton to the house. It's just such a good job up front. You have the little flash fade to a screen on the outside that freezes the linebackers and lets those pullers come around. And then the speed of Cole Payton. You're able to see it on the sideline. Those linebackers freeze. You get the backside linebacker flowing that way, thinking, hey, it could be screened to Raja Nelson. It's not. And this offensive line is really athletic. Jaden Price back deep to receive this punt. A penalty marker flies. And Price with an empty cut. Big yardage. Price into the open field. There he goes. He will not be caught. Touchdown, Bison. There is a penalty marker down at the 30, and that flag came out right as that play began. North Dakota State has turned the tables on USD so far in this quarterfinal. Yeah, so often you hear about out kicking your coverage. Well, what does that mean? It means kicking the ball so far that the return team doesn't have time to get close enough to the returner, and the returner has a great look at where the lanes are. He's able to make a couple of cuts. Is Jaden Price. There's some great blocking down the field. And then when it's one-on-one -on -one with the, an offensive lineman or the punter, I mean, it is sayonara, see you later. I've got reservations for six. North Dakota State so far doing it on offense with a couple of big drives. Time for Miller looking long. He's going to throw one deep. Green holds it in at the 25. Right in front of Caleb McKenzie and the Bison on the move again, and that'll be a gain of 48 more. Full house backfield. Play action for Miller. End zone as a man. there and he was wide open. The stuff was going to line up right here and he's just running a corner and this safety comes up to free up the route. So it ends up being stubble on a linebacker, Stephen Hillis, who's got three times on the ground as well so far for number five in red and white. Four men front play action. Bauman has a man. Into NDSU territory. Peyton, the quarterback. The power run. Peyton tiptoeing the sidelines into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the game. TK Marshall in the backfield and the lead block that he throws on the cornerback. It gets out in front and it is a Majority of the roster back from last year's three-win team. They've overcome adversity in the past. Carter Bell catches one. There goes the leading receiver for USD. And Bell weaving his way ahead to the 31. Sam Young brought him down. It'll be first and 10 for the Coyotes. After Falman, quick release in zone. Back corner. Caught for the touchdown by Phelps.
Well, it's a great throw and catch. South Dakota with finally some offensive momentum. Aiden Teams from the Big Sky and Missouri Valley Conference that are excellent programs. Williams taking off towards the pylon. An easy touchdown. Coyotes with one touchdown in this second half. One of the game looking for number two. And they will get it. Charles Pierre Jr. For South Dakota. Obviously the outcome probably decided at the break, but still a couple of touchdowns. The offense operated. Talk things over as South Dakota's incredible 10 win campaign comes to a close. It's, it's always a shame when it comes crashing down on South Dakota, but a tremendous season for them. Should be very proud.